Yo RK gang what's going on and welcome back to my channel it's your boy RK ready back with another banger video so today I'm gonna be making full prime icon squad but before we get into the video I want to talk to you all thank you so much for the 400,000 and 450,000 subscribers you know it's so hard to keep a track on my milestones because the subscribers count keeps on increasing day by day so rapidly guys uh, I love you all so much and uh, also guys I want to give you a small update uh the last few weeks you know my health wasn't the best i i, ha I had fever for almost seven to eight days and after that i had to go to northern ireland for for a small trip with my friends and after coming back my fever was back again so finally i've recovered and i'm really hoping to start live streams again and i'm gonna entertain you guys with one of the best fifa mobile content from now on so if you have any unique ideas let me know in the comment section below guys I, that's enough of talking now let's get into the video all right guys now let's begin the full prime icon squad builder so starting with the goalkeeper position so we've got the highest rated goalkeeper right now in game peter schmeichel a manchester united legend he's 118 overall after upgrading and he's got a base overall 113 so these are his stats guys really good diving 200 plus diving 200 plus positioning 210 plus reflexes and 197 handling uh, really good reactions 187 reactions and uh, good jumping as well so these are his stats uh, he's six foot four inches tall and leadership pushes for uh, pushes up for corner traits as well uh, if you ask me if he's the best goalkeeper uh, i think it's probably top three but definitely not the best i still think wander's prime icon is the best car uh, i think he's the second best probably uh, and moving on to the center back position we've got two italians in there uh, so we've got maldini guys this is the fastest center back card ever i mean so far in this game he's got 165 pace 205 defending 164 physical good passing and decent dribbling as well so these are the stats guys he's definitely the best center back in the game right now and uh, yeah he's six foot one inch tall he's got the dives into tackles leadership and the team player trait and uh, in the next center back we got his teammate uh nesta italian and ac milan teammate so he's got 142 pace not the fastest but guys trust me this this card looks uh, really good in the game in head to head and verse attack is so hard to go against uh, if you're facing him you, you're gonna definitely have a hard time playing against him 202 defending 168 physical so these are his stats guys uh, and this guy has uh, got power header um, and he's got leadership and team player he's six foot two inches tall and moving on to the next center back we actually have an out of position player so we're going to use a cdm player so yeah i'm going to use Mathaus. so 119 rated uh, he's actually a 114 rated card so german cdm card uh, he's actually quite versatile guys uh, he can be used in almost any position in the game he's got 156 pace 133 shooting 171 passing 151 dribbling 185 defending and 152 physical i mean he's gonna stay here until uh, there is another 114 center back uh, in the game so until then i'm gonna be using Mathaus in the C uh, cb position so these are his stats guys and he's five foot nine inch tall i know he's quite short for a center back but as i told he's just a temporary center back for me and he's got solid player dives into tackle and long shot taker crates and moving on to the midfield so um, yeah i'm gonna be using uh right wing in the right mid position and uh, left wing in the re left mid position so we are going to be using zarzino in the right mid position i packed him twice guys uh, in this account so he's got amazing stats 197 pace 170 and shooting 115 and passing 191 dribbling and 115 physical health he's got five star weak foot five star skill moves i think he's the best right wing in the uh, in the game right now so these are his stats guys he's got the league one chemistry and uh, five foot eight eight inches tall he's got medium medium work rates rainbow has his main skill move and he's got flip power header and outside foot shot rate uh, this card is absolutely amazing i have this card even on fifa 23 console as well and he's one of my favorite cards in there as well and uh, in the left mid position we we have a uh, amazing amazing player we've got theory Henry, one of my favorite players ever to play this game and uh, yeah even in game uh, he's up he lives up to the hype guys really quick 196 pace very good shooting 180 shooting 160 passing very good passing as well really good dribbling 187 and he's got okay physical 118 physical not the strongest but he's actually quite strong in real life but i'm not sure why he has given a low physical and uh, these are his stats 
and he he costed uh, me 600 to 650 million coins but yeah luckily i packed him guys but if you want to get into the market he's going to cost us 600 to 650 million coins six foot two inches tall quite tall for a winger but still uh, he's really good there he's got the ruler skill move tries to beat offside trap finish shot uh, trait and flare trait and also speed dribble right so this is an amazing card to have in your team and in the sentiment portion i have a card which i'm not a big fan of we've got shaft uh, and he feels so weak guys I mean he's not the type of player which I uh, prefer playing with so he's kind of weak for a midfielder and he's got good pace a decent shooting very good passing obviously very good dribbling obviously and okay defending stats so he's like more like attacking midfielder uh, or like he's not a proper box to box in my opinion so yeah an average card in my opinion or one of the few cards which I don't like in this uh, full pram icon squad and uh, next midfielder this card i'm a huge fan of he's very good at cm and cdm positions guys we've got viera another arsenal legend in this team so 161 pace 142 shooting 188 188 passing 163 dribbling 146 defending and 135 physical guys his stats are up there i mean probably the best sentiment but he's got a restart weak foot but it's not that noticeable because uh, i use him mostly as a midfielder uh, to defend uh, I don't use him much for attack so I don't do the trigger runs with him and all uh, but amazing sentiment card guys uh, especially uh, if you want a defending type uh, mentality midfielder he's perfect he's also very good at CDM position as I told earlier he's got six foot four inch height I mean yeah he, he should be very good in winning the balls back so he's got the heel to heel leadership power head power head power head traits and moving on to the camp position we have got another solid midfielder we've got michael balak even this card is good at cam or sentiment position he's got stunning stats as well 169 pace 186 shooting 178 passing 176 dribbling 112 defending and 130 physical those stats are amazing and he's got four star weak foot but it's not that noticeable because of his very good shooting and uh, Let's have a look at his uh, traits. He's got a powerful free kick trait. Uh, I mean, powerful driven free kick, long shot taker, and power header trait. And he's got uh, he's six foot two inches tall, guys. And he's got the ruler has his primary skill move. And moving on to the attacking duo, this attacking duo is amazing, guys. I've been ripping off teams with this amazing striker play. So we've got R9 as a main striker, 184 uh, pace, 193 shooting, 128 passing, 180 dribbling. 142 physical and is the most expensive card uh, in the game right now 936 million coins guys and uh, yeah these are his insane stats and he's got ruler as his main skill move that's a win for me because rainbow is not quite effective in all the scenarios but ruler you know seven out of ten situations it's going to be a very useful skill move and he's got the finish short speed dribbler trait and he's six uh, feet tall guys uh, and moving on to the next striker we've got another rock solid striker uh, to be honest it's actually quite neck to neck i mean neck and neck between uh, you know ronaldo and drogba they both just uh, score for fun uh, in my account and uh, he's got 167 pace 193 dribbling 153 physical guys so it's so hard to take ball away from this uh, baller i mean drogba this card is probably my favorite card right now even but i mean i feel is much better than r9 as well probably because of his strength but yeah sometimes he feels clunky uh yeah he's got lower dribbling so ob that's obvious but still guys if you are a cross spammer or a rat player this card would be amazing so whenever if my opponent crosses or something uh i cross back uh with zarzinho and uh, he does the job very well for me uh in crosses and drogba always hits it to the net so yeah this is a, a full prime icon squad guys i hope you all have uh, enjoyed this video so far and if you did make sure to subscribe to my channel like this video and also guys this is a 140 rated full prime icon squad so yeah enjoy the rest of the video with an amazing head rate match r Kennedy signing off And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Arsenal 
facing Real Madrid. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Can he make it count? And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? Goal That's a really simple finish in the end. So the action continues. Will there be a quick response from Real? Possession one. Ronaldo. Drogba. That's how to dispossess your opponent. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. Drogba. Opportunity. And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, as you can see, this is absolutely brilliant. He's such a good runner with the ball, and it's a great individual goal. goal brilliant from him. 2-0 here, and the ball is three. moving again. Real Madrid have given it away. And he might be through here. And doing all he can to grab his second of the game. Well, he's been a real live wire today. A constant threat to this back line. No, high quality defending. Throw in here for Arsenal. Henri. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Henri! And that is the sort of tackle he had scripted in his mind. Pelé. Maldini. Jairzinho. Now with Xavi. Good technique displayed. Can he put it away? And there it is! Another goal! And surely there's no way back from this now. Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end. Goal! But you still have to be in the right place. Arsenal! Keep your composure and Number finish it 13. off. And that's exactly what he did. So the game continues. And Arsenal cantering to victory now. The fourth and the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage of time. Minutes of added time. Balak putting in the challenge. Pele. Oh, a good touch down to the woodwork. Oh, is he going to be punished here? Hernandez. Strong defending by Xavi. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team the talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. So into the second half, and you can't really put it any other way. A huge gulf in quality between the sides in the first 45. Will we see a response from Real? Ronaldo. Pele. Cantona. And he read it superbly. And the keeper with the ball. Vieira. Patrick Vieira. Can he take advantage? Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Now, who can he play it to? Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Jairzinho. And it's still on for him. Really needed to be spot on with the challenge inside the box. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Goal Substitution for Real Madrid. For My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Cantona. And taken away by Mateus. Eric Cantona. And Bellingham. Balak. 
and he's made headway. The net is steering him in the face, and he finds the net he could hardly miss. Well, here it is again. It's an easy finish in the end, but what Goal. was the keeper thinking? Arsenal. That's a poor bit of defending. Number 93. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. And so into the final five minutes. Drogba might be a chance here. Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudit, and the referee blows his whistle. Now we can say it officially, Arsenal have won this game. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today.